Shopping Plaza on Lansing Southside that some claim is a magnet for crime is in dire need of improvement, but not everyone who lives in the area is on board with the changes. Some feel like the project is an effort to push them out of town. Fox 47's Megan Hyler has the details. Business owners tell me that just because it's going to be looking better, that doesn't mean people are getting left behind. We can make this place uh, sort of a much better and a nicer place that the community deserves. Ravon Herphy is the owner of 1910 Food Market in Pleasant Grove Plaza and the president of Southwest Action Group. The group, also known as SWAG, recently raised enough funds to purchase an area of parking adjacent to the plaza. SWAG says that they plan to make that into a square with a sculpture and landscaping. He says that the upgrades to the plaza will make it nicer for everyone, but some disagree. They want to do a redevelopment and they're not thinking about the people that it's going to affect. They did the redevelopment and they invited some developer in here then the cost of living raises, people have to move, you know, where are they going to go? But business owners tell me that's not going to happen. They just want to make the area look nicer. Nothing will change. The businesses will be here. Um, I will be here. The, the barbershop will be here. Everybody else will be here. It's just that we're just going to have better, nicer looking buildings. I mean, who doesn't want that? I and other customers who frequent the businesses in the plaza say that they welcome the changes. So I do think it's a good thing because you need to improve everything around the city. Why let everything get deteriorated and go down? It's good to have everything build back up. Reporting from Lansing, I'm Megan Heiler, Fox 47 News. Now the purchase agreement is already signed and they plan on closing before September 25th. They say they got the funds from a spaghetti dinner and community donations. The next SWAC meeting is September 6th at 4 p.m. The community is welcome to come and voice their concerns.